Shalom, Shalom, Israel. First of all, I'd like to give all honor and glory to Yahweh and Adusha by Hashem and my Shek Shah. Second of all, I'd like to give double honor and glory to the elders who taught us this truth and paved the way for us to come and grow in this truth. Also, I'd like to give a hearty Shalom to the brethren who are diligently in this truth, seeking out the righteousness and flee from the lust and cares of this world. But today, I'd like to come back with a quick video on um, Don't Commit Adultery. And Shalom here for being inconsistent. I believe I got a demon on me, and I, and I, and I am begging that brethren pray for me that I, I have a fervent and zealous prayer for the Lord, as I used to, and even stronger. But nevertheless, let me get into this video. So I was reading the scriptures, and I just saw the topic of adultery, and I wanted to get into it and how we cannot do it. A man cannot sleep with a. Now, and time would fail me to look for all the adultery scriptures, but basically the just adultery is when a man, a man sleeps with a, another man's wife. Sex is marriage. So like when you have sex, you are the person you have sex with. As long as it's a heterosexual relationship, you're married to them. Now, of course, um, there's different laws when it comes to harlots. And of course, like um, if you um sleep with another man's wife, she's not your wife. You committed adultery. And concerning women, if a woman sleeps with any other man, um, that's adultery while her husband is alive. Like all of these things have limitations, but basically, the gist of this is to not sleep with somebody, not sleep with uh, somebody else's. Uh, if you're a man, don't sleep with. Anybody else is a woman. And if you're a woman, only sleep with the man that you, you know, you're with. Now, of course, um, there is things such as the law of divorce, which I'm not going to get into. But it's a very brief uh, synopsis of adultery. But let me get into scriptures, actually. Exodus 20 and 14. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Uh, so now that I told you what adultery is. Most of told us not to commit adultery. But like, um, say like you just keep committing adultery and like you don't listen to Mosah, what's going to happen? 1 Corinthians 6, 9 through 10. Uh, 1 Corinthians 6, 9. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Be not deceived, neither fornicators. Fornication or fornicators is like when you're having a wicked sexual act, like adultery, incest, etc. No idolaters, like when you're serving any other god or any other thing really before the Mosah. No adulterers, but that's what this video is about. Nor effeminate, like you can't be, um, can't be so like, can't be a punk, can't be like so weak. Nor abusers themselves with mankind, you can't be a homosexual, nor thieves. Nor covetous, like you can't be um, like it's cool to want things, but you can't be like um, like you can't be uh wicked with it, like like you uh, look at a brother's uh coat, be like, oh, I like it, so I'm gonna try to steal it from him, or something like that. You can admire what a person has, but you can't be like, oh, I, I want exactly what that person has. Nor drunkards. Because, like, when you drink a lot and you're a drunkard, you tend to do wicked things. No revilers. Um, now, not really going into what a reviler is. I can't really remember off topic, but I believe a reviler is somebody who, like, keeps telling people secrets. Nor extortioners can extort people. So, I inherit the kingdom of God. So, all of these things, but keeping a huge focus on adultery, doing that with get you kicked out the well will make you not inherit the kingdom of God. Like now of course there's um also ramifications for that as well. Like um who will inherit the kingdom and stuff like that. And like um like if you're an Israelite if you're a heathen you're not gonna make it. But if you're an Israelite and you're doing these Things and you don't repent by the time the outside comes back and the most high doesn't forgive you, you're gonna uh you're gonna die and then like be brought back into regeneration. 
and all of these claims, like, I actually got approved, but, like, um, it'd be better if I make their own separate videos based on that. Uh, but anyways, let me try to, uh, let me try to find what a reviler is real quick. Nor, um, nor slanderers. Okay. You can't, like, yeah, you can't, um, can't say somebody's doing something that they're not, um, now, so we got what adultery is, the judgment for it. But most people don't go into like how the other, like the person who got cheated on, how they would feel like having that adultery happen to them. So let's get into it. Proverbs 6 and 13. It's like Proverbs 6 and 32. But who's going to commit adultery with a woman lacketh understanding? Cause so like, cause like if you commit adultery, like you're just, you're just not, you're just not right. Like. You don't have understanding. And, like, if you, you're committing adultery, you're just destroying yourself. Because most of are going to be mad at you. And uh, somebody's the person who, um, the person's partner who you're cheating on, who's uh, cheating on them, it's like it. the, the person uh, who's getting the adultery committed on is not going to be happy with you neither. Verse 33, a wounded and dishonor shall he get, and his reproach shall not be wiped away. God, so like, which we should be doing this nowadays, but most of the world is just wicked. But like, back in the days, like, when people had more morals and respect, integrity, like, getting found out for committing adultery, like, like you would, like your name would be blotted out, and like people would, you like your death, your um judgment was death, and like um, like you would just have a bad name. Verse thirty four, for jealousy is the rage of a man; therefore, he will not spare in the day of vengeance. Con so like uh, a man, like once he found out that his wife played a harlot and committed adultery, or like he if he catches them like. Um, that man is more than likely going to get mad and wanting to do something uh, to get revenge, like not commit adultery, but like kill kill them, basically, the adulterers or something like or something that's similar to. He will not regard any ransom, neither will he rest content without giving him any gifts. Like you can't just commit adultery and then like um try to bribe, like. Like, more than likely, it's not going to work that you just commit adultery with somebody and you try to bribe their partner with other uh, gifts. Or, like, um, like you try to get them to do... You try to uh, give them something so, like, they don't want to kill you. Like, more than likely, it's not going to work. Especially people who have integrity. So, adultery is a very bad sin that we must try to avoid as well as the other sins that... Uh, but most people who don't care about and like are willingly doing. But anyways, I hope somebody got edified. And if this video is confusing, please let me know in the comments or something. And I suggest that brethren watch the brothers of Sakari to get a better understanding. But anyways, I hope somebody got edified. And I pray to y'all pray for me as I pray for y'all. And I pray that y'all may pray for each other. But I'd like to give all honor and glory to Yahweh. And I do so by sending my check out. Shalom.